Should face coverings be exempt in schools? Let's talk about it. and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then a big huge welcome to you I have been away again for a bit but I am back and I decided to upload this video because this is a very very recent topic that I've been trying to keep up to date about but I am a little bit behind on some of the few things but I thought that I would film it and upload it on the same day just in case if anything happens before the new school term starts in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scotland is excluded I'm afraid because Scotland schools have reopened for the new term but for England, Wales and Northern Ireland this is really relevant as so many of the things have come up this week about this topic and yes I am of course talking about face coverings in schools and should they be exempt for students who have hidden disabilities including autism. And I have been talking about it a lot with people I know through groups and then my loved ones as well, but I'm not going to be talking about what everybody has said. I'm actually going to be talking about it in my own point of view and I'm going to show a little bit of evidence about why should students with autism should be exempt from wearing face coverings in schools. In the UK at the moment, face coverings are mandatory, so mandatory means they have to be worn in supermarkets, shops and public transport which includes buses, taxis and trains. But I've also found that some face coverings have to be allowed in hospitals and GP surgeries and I only know that because I went to hospital recently for my annual checkups with my epilepsy but I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on because that's another video for another day. For all of those things I've mentioned, excluding public transport, some of the buildings have small enclosed spaces and this is a very important thing to point out because there are going to be other places such as schools which will have small enclosed spaces. In England, Wales and Northern Ireland face coverings should be mandatory in secondary schools which include pupils age 11 and above. Also the teachers and the faculty have to wear face masks not just in secondary schools but in primary schools too and like I mentioned before Scotland have done that already but in England as from the 26th of August have already put the plans into the works so this is the government organising things and I have to say though it's not really as well planned as I thought it would be. I could be right or I could be wrong in this situation, but from what I have read uh, from articles like the BBC and Sky and all of that, I, I'm not really convinced about how it's going to be planned for students with hidden disabilities. Some parents will be a little bit concerned about returning their children to school, but since their children have been away from school for six months, it's going to be a very difficult situation because without a vaccine and without what's going on, some parents are really, really concerned about this. Considering it's that, and to be honest, it's very understandable that education is vital and it's understanding that coming back into an environment where education is really important, what happens if someone with a hidden disability actually wears a face mask for too long and they don't feel comfortable with it? Wearing a face covering, which includes a face mask, is extended to long periods of time. This is a very questionable thing to think about. How is that going to be possible? How can a student or a teacher or a member of the faculty with a hidden disability, which includes autism, can wear a face covering for? 
it's going to be difficult and I know in that circumstance it's something that it's a big whoa hang on a minute what's the situation what can be done I have been doing some little bit of thinking around it and personally I'm not a person who's to give proper advice because I'm not a guru or anything like that but I have written some bits down that could actually help and this is something that if I was a student and if it was me and even though if I would wear a face covering during an extended period I would feel really uncomfortable so I thought that one of the options that the government can actually do is include the extent cards in schools the extent cards are proving to be very very popular with families and individuals with hidden disabilities I've seen so many posts on social media and so many videos on this the exempt cards prove to be very very helpful and I'm wondering could that be the same for schools it's something to think about and I don't know much on how to explain on this one but I'm wondering that if it was really really successful in tight enclosed spaces such as public transport or going into shops so shops that are a little bit tiny maybe it could be the case for schools however i don't know for a fact it might be a little bit easy or tricky and i know some headmasters may be questioning about this because i know that there's another article that their headmasters are or, or headmistresses are asking the government uh, to explain what's going to happen so I'm wondering if they get some more information on what's happening maybe a parent of an individual with a hidden disability isn't really sure about what to do maybe they can have a talk with either their headmaster slash headmistress or a learning support assistant if they have in one-to-one -one learning support lessons and then if that's the case and if it's okay maybe it's possible just to try to get a student to get into a routine by starting from home as practice like getting into the routine of wiping your hands washing your hands with soap and hot water or hand gel that could be like a good routine just to do in between lessons and lunchtime and home time and when they get to the routine probably look at their school timetable just to get an idea of what they should do and then once the student is ready and once their parents feel comfortable about it they can actually try and do this in school but they can get some help from their learning support assistants these are things I think that could work in any sort of school if it's mainstream or special schools to be honest these are my ideas and I don't really have a child who goes to school anymore or I don't go to school anymore but it makes me wonder how these things can work out and I'm wondering if these are the best solutions and I, I just don't really know for sure but to me this is the thing that I want to happen if I was a teacher or if I was a parent for an individual with a hidden disability it, it might take a little bit of time just to organize things out but if it can happen and be planned out before the 1st of September that would be fantastic and also if it does happen I think the government should really really focus on this and even though it's just for the UK at the moment could it be the same for schools around the world I don't really know for sure but I think at the end of the day we're just going to have to see how everything goes and yes that's all I'm going to say I know I've done things that are mumbly jumbly and I do apologize if if I go all over the place but I tried so hard just to really plan this out but I think I'm happy with what I got so I'm just going to probably leave it at that and with that I'm going to be drawing this video to a close because I want to get this video uploaded in time and although it might be a little bit of a hickle pickle because editing for me at the moment is not fantastic but I'm just going to have to 
wait and see what happens and let me know in the comments down below what do you think of having extant cards for people or slash students with a hidden disability should be included in schools let's get talking about it I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this one and also what do you think about the UK government just introducing mandatory rules for face coverings in schools? Let me know down below and let's get talking about it. But please bear in mind, this is a family friendly channel. So please keep the comments clean. I, I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you. So until then, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And as always, always remember to keep on dreaming and never stop believing. Um, never stop believing. I can't really do all the wink. <laughs> Always remember to keep on dreaming and never stop believing. Yay! I've done the wink! Yay! <laughs> Take care guys, stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Bye!